Hey guys, Gillyweed here with the Imbibuilds audio guide to the ZBP Speedling All In. Don't forget to check the video description below for a link to the Imbibuilds website where you'll find tips on the build as well as other replays of it in action. In a second, I'll ask you to pause the video while you start a game against an easy AI Protoss opponent. Once the game loads, pause it and come back here. I'll then give you a countdown and you can resume your game. Ready? Pause the video. Welcome back. Get ready to unpause the game and start your first drone in 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. You just started your first drone. Keep making them. You'll build your spawning pool at 10 drones. Also, don't drone scout unless you're on a four player map. You should now be spawning your 10th drone. At 200 minerals, build a spawning pool. Then spawn another drone when you get the resources. Build two extractors as you get the resources. Then build two more drones to get back up to 10. These will be the last drones you make. Once you're at 10 supply again, cancel the second extractor, putting the drone back on minerals. Then you should be at 11 out of 10 supply. When your extractor finishes, put three drones on it. When you get 100 minerals, start an overlord. When able, spawn six zerglings. Position your overlords to give you vision of your opponent's walls. At 100 gas, start the metabolic boost upgrade and pull your drones off gas. Use your initial links to attack the Protoss base. Use your vision of the walls to attack holes in the building placement. At 150 minerals, spawn a queen. Continue spawning zerglings for reinforcements as resources allow. Spawn an overlord with your next available larva. When attacking, make sure to favor keeping your lings alive. Don't get surrounded. Instead, when your lings are attacked, retreat and poke somewhere else. Inject your hatchery. Spawn another overlord now. Inject your hatchery. Also, metabolic boost should finish right around now. Keep reinforcing your attack with speedlings. Continue to inject your hatchery and spawn overlords if needed. Devote all other resources to reinforcing the attack with more speedlings. Target fire holes in building placement and surrounded enemy units. This build is a straight up cheese, so there's no real transition. However, if you dealt some damage and want to go into the macro game, get a hatchery at your natural and build a second queen. Good luck and have fun.